Zen Ghosts, written and illustrated by John J. Muth. Michael, there's a ghost outside, said Carl. A what? asked Michael. A big, scary-looking ghost, said Carl. Is it still water? asked Michael. It doesn't have still water's face, said Carl. Oh, wait, yes, he does. Come in, Stillwater. Hi, Stillwater, said Addie. Happy almost Halloween. We are working on our costumes. I'm going to be a moon princess. What are you going to be? I'm a ghost, said Stillwater. What are you going to be? He asked Carl and Michael. I'm going to be a monster, said Carl, with a powerful heat ray and atomic breath. I will cause awesome destruction. I haven't decided what I'm going to be yet, said Michael. Either an owl or a pirate. I really like owls and I really like pirates. Perhaps... You will be an owl pirate, said Stillwater. He can't be an owl pirate, said Carl. There's no such thing as an owl pirate. He has to be one thing. He can be whatever he wants, said Addie. Look, Stillwater, do you like my costume? Yes, said Stillwater. It reminds me of something. This is a very special Halloween. There is going to be a full moon, and I know someone who will tell you a ghost story. Yay! said Addie. I love ghost stories, said Michael. It's not too scary, is it? asked Carl. After trick-or-treating, meet me by the big stone wall, and I will take you to the storyteller, said Stillwater. When the children were done trick-or-treating, they waited by the stone wall. I'll trade you three tiny mints for one Snookers, said Addie. No, said Carl. I'm not giving up my Snookers. But you don't even like them, said Addie. Come on. I only like tiny mints if they are the crunch peppermint kind, said Carl. Besides, I am saving my Snookers. I have one flavored like bamboo said Stillwater. Wow, you scared me, said Carl. How long have you been there? Follow me, said Stillwater. <laughs> I've never gone this way before, said Michael. Me neither, said Carl. I think I have, said Addie. In a few moments, they arrived at Stillwater's house. It is very misty, said Addie. Come in, said Stillwater. They all sat facing the front of the room. Then a panda, who looked exactly like Stillwater, came in and sat down. Is that Stillwater? whispered Carl. Yes. No. I don't know. Shh, whispered Michael. The panda held up a brush and said, I am going to draw you a story. Once, a long, long time ago, there was a young girl named Senjo. Her parents loved her very much and they took very good care of her. Yeah. 
she had a best friend named Ochu, whom she had known for as long as she could remember. They were together so much that Senjo's father would laugh and say, You two are so well matched, you will probably end up marrying each other. As they grew up, they believed this would happen, and they fell in love. But when Senjo reached marrying age, her father suddenly became ill and couldn't work. He came to her one evening and told her that she was to wed a nice man named Henrio. Henrio was prosperous and could take care of the family. Now Senjo was very sad. She had always hoped she would marry her best friend, Ochu. When Ochu heard about this, he decided to leave that very night. He couldn't stand to be in the same village where his beloved Senjo would be married to someone else. At midnight, with a full moon, he secretly went to the river's edge, packed his boat, and left. He didn't tell anyone, not even Senjo. As he traveled up the river, he saw a vague figure running along the bank. His heart leapt when he saw that it was Senjo, and he hurried to her side. They hugged each other tightly and decided to go off together. Senjo and Ochu journeyed to a faraway village where they married and had two children. They were very happy. Then one day, Senjo came to Ochu in tears. She longed to be with her parents and to see her home again. Ochu felt the same way. They decided to return together and face the consequences. When they arrived at the dock, Ochu said, Let me go first to see your father. I will apologize and find out how things are before you come. Senjo's father was very happy to see him. Ochu told him they were sorry for what they had done and that he and Senjo were now a family with two children. Senjo's father was astonished. What are you talking about? He asked. From the time you left the village, Senjo has been very sick in bed. She is unable to speak. Now Ochu was surprised. But I promise you, Senjo is well, and you are a grandfather. I will bring her to you. As Ochu went to the dock, Senjo's father rushed to his daughter's bedside and told her what Ochu had said. As she heard the story, she was filled with joy. Without saying a word, she rose from her bed and went quickly down the stairs. At that very moment, the Senjo who had come ashore arrived at the house with Ochu. The two Senjos, upon seeing each other, merged and became one. The storyteller paused, then he asked, Which Senjo is the true one? Are they one, or are they two? Addie, Michael, and Carl looked at one another. Then they turned and looked beside them. Only a mask was sitting on the cushion. They looked at Stillwater sitting in the front of the room. He was reaching into a bag of Halloween candy. I got a bunch of whistles and tiny mints. Does anyone have some bamboo-flavored snookers? I've been saving one for you, said Carl. Thank you, said Stillwater. Thank you, said Carl. That was a good story. <laughs> <laughs>